try to solve this. Negative x is equal to 473. Remember, when we are solving for x, we desire to, or whatever variable it is, we desire to have the coefficient to be a positive 1. What's the coefficient for this variable? Negative 1. It's understood to be a negative 1. I don't want that. So how do I get rid of a coefficient? Divide. I'm going to divide by that coefficient. So I divide both sides by negative 1. Like that. Do you all agree with that? Mm -hmm. So what is a negative 1 divided by negative 1? It's a positive 1, right? So I do get exactly what I want, which is a positive 1 for the coefficient of the variable. And then what's 473 divided by negative 1? Negative it's negative 473. So what we're doing is that we have to know all of those things we talked about from chapter 1 with how do we work with our signs. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. And then 473 divided by 1 is just going to be 473. So negative 473. You know, just because we, we talked about it earlier, I'm going to do this again. If I have 5w is equal to, let's make this negative 5w, is equal to negative 240. What would you do to get your variable by itself? You would divide by this coefficient, which is negative 5, right? So this gives me a plain positive w equals, is it positive or negative on the right side? It's going to be a positive. Now, what was the cool trick I said for dividing by 5? You, you just threw it away? Yeah. To divide by 5, multiply times 2. What's 24 times 2? 24 times 2 is 48. Because think about this. If this were money, how many nickels would go into this? Well, that's really what you're doing. I start with dimes, though. This is 24 dimes, but 24 dimes is how many nickels? Multiply times 2 to get 48. <coughs> Oh, come on, that's fun. You guys say, I don't know, I want to do more examples where I'm dividing by 5. Okay, let's do that, because I want you guys to get this cool trick so that you can show your friends, so you can, you know, maybe meet your soulmate at the bar next time. So, if I were to take, don't laugh, I know how to pick up women. I'm married, aren't I? I, I impressed her when I was tutoring her when she was taking a calculus course in college. <laughs> okay. Now look, 90 divided by 5. If you follow the trick, what's the answer? Don't do long division. We're doing shortcuts here. What is it? 10. 18. It's 18. 90, 90 cents is how many dimes? It's 9 dimes, which means in terms of nickels, it's how much? 18 nickels, right? What if I have 210 divided by 5? 210 is how many, is how many dimes? 22. 21 dimes becomes what? 42 nickels. It's easy to divide the 210, so it's 4 and 2. You can do it that way, too. That's really doing long division. I like my shortcut way. <laughs> Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. <laughs> Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Okay. Now, 30, 370 divided by 5. If you do my trick, you got the answer straight up. What is it? 72, 
74. Just take the 37 and multiply times 2, you get 74. Right? Because 370 <coughs> in terms of dimes would be 37 dimes, but 37 dimes is 74 nickels. 450 It's what? You, right, you can you can do that. You're breaking it down, and you're doing a different version of the distributive property. We can do it that way too. Just another way. No, you're you're right. In case you don't understand what she was saying, like here for this guy, you could say that this is really 200 plus 10, and this whole thing is divided by the whole thing is divided by five. So what you really have here for this guy is 200 divided by five, and 10 divided by five. So know your multiplication tables, and you still get the answer. Learn how you can break numbers down and see them in a slightly different way. Now, we can throw things off just a little bit and have something like this. If I have 315 divided by 5, I would look at the 31 and multiply that times 2 like I've been doing. That gives me what? 62. 62. But then I've got an extra nickel, so I have what? 63, because you're talking about how many nickels do you have? The 310 would give you 62 nickels. The extra five cents is one more nickel. If I have 925 divided by five, well, look at 92 first. Multiply that times two, you get what? 92 times 2 is 184 plus an extra nickel is 185. I mean, you can also do long division if you want to, but I'm just showing you how I roll. <coughs> Remember how we look at this? We're saying this is 900. 20, we can look at it this way. So according to the trick that I showed you before, multiply the 92 times 2, that's 184. <coughs> you have one more nickel, and so that's how you get the 185. Now you don't have to you use... Add the yeah, I'm adding up the nickel. Yeah. I, I mean, this is not something that you have to know, but I think it's very useful if you do know. Gives you an idea about is my answer correct or not. So if I have, sometimes you, you'll see this. If I've got 85 divided by 5, you can do long division or you can just do my trick. The trick would say to do what? Multiply the 8 times 2 and you get what? 16. 16, but you've got this extra nickel, so you have what? 17. 17.